<laughs> okay, so look, this story is crazy. Drake is in trouble for partying with 11-year-old rapper FNG King, and the internet is going crazy, chewing him alive, because he's in the club with this 11-year-old rapper, and people are pissed off. As they should be. <laughs> look, so check this out. This is the video that went viral. <laughs> Now look, this is the problem with this one. People are pissed off because ever since this little 11 year old rapper came out, people have been angry because why? Because he comes out and he's rapping about killing, murdering, calling women all types of, you know, hoes and B words and just the most gritty, crazy, ghetto, thuggish ass music you could possibly have. And I wished and I hoped and I prayed that the industry would just ignore him. But if it's ignorant, it will go viral, and if it will go viral, there will be people who will come around and capitalize off of it. He even, like, recently went viral for, like, slapping a, uh, another uh, interviewer in the face with some money. Like, you know, there's a level of rapper slapping, like, a 30-year-old man in the face with some money. I don't know why you interviewed him in the first place. But, yeah, that's the problem. <sighs> Every time I think we're moving forward, I realize that we are being set back. Last year over the summer, the best-known rap lyrics were my... Blank is pink. My blank blank is brown. You had women shouting this in droves. Like something that, like, really? The first time I heard that that was a lyric, I told my friend, I was like, stop playing with me because nobody said that. I, I feel you. But this to me is, is kind of crazy. And my thing is with Drake is like, bro, you should know better. You are a multi, you are a billion dollar brand. Why would you be sitting in the club or even allow yourself to be like co-signing this guy? Like he's the last thing hip hop needs. An 11 year old and Drake, like you, you've go, you've come too far for this kind of shenanigans. Drake don't even have lyrics like that. And look, a lot of people had a lot to say. These are some of the comments that On Site got from this video being posted. And a lot of people are making some great points and you can see the sentiment. And I'm I'm actually proud of the culture okay. for, for this a little bit because Drake kind of deserves it. I, and I love Drake, but he deserves his backlash a little bit. Like, yes, it's just a picture on the, but bro, if, if it's me in the club, I would have paid you to take him out of there. Hey, hey, bro, first of all, he can't even be in here with me. Why? Okay, so this is the second time Drake has been in trouble about anything with a young person. The first time he kissed an underage girl on stage. I can't remember. She oh, was, hell. But she yeah. was 14 or... I think that was an accident back in the day. I don't know. I, you know what? We not... Hey. What I'm saying, we ain't got to go down this road, but what I'm saying is, is like you said, Drake, why would you even be promoting this? You have a son. And that's what people said. Would you have your son in that club at that at 11 years old? Matter of fact, would you let your son hang out with FBG, whatever his name is? Like, but again, I'm proud of the internet streets because they was in the comments and they got to him. So this is one. This is so sad. Where are his parents? So many adults supposed to be guiding him, and yet they're enabling this nonsense. Why are we... Now, this one I don't agree with, but why are we blaming Drake for this and not his parents for being irresponsible? Look, his parents left the gate a long time ago when they started promoting this bullshit, and he wouldn't even be able to create the type of music he created if he probably wasn't from that place. You know what I'm saying? And his parents were involved in it. But Drake, I feel like should know better. Like, they should know better. How many times have we seen kids that don't have the proper parenting, guidance, mentorship, and somebody else, a responsible adult, comes along and says, this is not okay. Drake, in this case, should have been that adult. Exactly. And look, I'm not trying to put it all on him. But you're co-signing it. Co-signing this. Co and and not only that, it's just like if somebody goes on Oprah Winfrey's show and Oprah gives them 10 seconds, any product they have is going to blow up. If Drake co-signs, if Drake says this is who I'm hanging with, what do you think is going to happen? Now we got a culture of 9, 10, 11 years old and up because it's some really goofy, immature adults that are going to be listening to this 11-year-old child. It's not okay. You're a 35-year-old man in the club with an 11-year-old. 35, 36, whatever. I know that you didn't plan this or I hope to God that y'all didn't plan this and maybe y'all just happened to be there at the same time but at the end of the day it's like, bro, 
you got to protect your, band, your brand better than that. It's the last thing you need. Even this comment was a good one. I have questions. Are those lady in the back at the five-second mark naked? Why is this child in this environment? Would Drake bring his own child to this same environment? And would that not be equally as weird? Would Drake even introduce this child to his child? And why are some people encouraging this? Is this grooming? Is this grooming? What the is going on? Facts. There's a lot of not cool stuff going on. People coming out the woodwork saying this person did this or that to me. We even did one where people are saying, oh, they they gave me this or that. We have people being accused of being pedophiles and all kinds of things. And I'm not putting that on Drake. But in this day and age, you have to be very careful how you move and what you're seen doing. It's a, a whole culture of... We ready to take you out and we're going to use whatever we can. You got to you got to think smarter than this. And then not only that, bro, you have you know how influential you are. You have the power to like decide what is cool, decide what is acceptable. Like you like have the ears, minds and hearts of millions of people. Literally Drake is probably if not the biggest rapper in the world, or really not even rapper pop star in pop the world. Pop star, hip hop star, one whatever you want to call it. One of the most famous human beings on the planet. Would you invest your energy in, would you put your face next to, would you give the thumbs up sign next to literally changes the fabric of the culture, what people decide is acceptable? And do you want to grow up in a world where 11 year olds are in the club with half naked women and 35 year old men popping bottles? Like there's no way that this happens and I'm there and I like two things was not going to happen if I'm there. I'm not taking the picture. I'm, I'm, I would rather pay y'all to leave or like anything <laughs> Anything else but that. Yeah, I don't know. So, um, like I said, I kind of feel like in this situation, Drake deserves the backlash because you can't take back the energy that you just gave him. Drake gets donkey of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out.